Another word of advice for your transporting reprojection TVs. Always have them standing up because uh, mineral oil in those guns will tend to be messed up and it never settles right and the picture's all messed up and your colours won't be right. It's, yeah, not good for them. You always want to have them standing upright when transporting and moving around. That's why you can't move them around too much while they're on. Yeah, it tends to mess your convergence up that way too soon. But yeah, if I look over the mirror, directly at the guns, I'll see crap in there. So there's a dead fly reflection there, so there must be a tiny bug sitting on there somewhere I can't see. I don't think it'll be inside, but somewhere there, a bug's got an in and sitting on there. I don't know. I haven't. Yeah. You can see right there they get where the um, screen's sealed on and the picture's just reflecting through the sides of the tube. There's no shields on the side there. So yeah, somewhere there's... Remember that there must be something more... Either this actual lens here, that comes off and underneath it you got the main lens, but in that chamber is the oil. So on, a, on the inner lens, there must be a um, bug gotten in. So if I clean that inner lens up, I'll probably get a better picture. So yeah, I'll have to take all this um, zooming bit off and yeah, the picture will be all out of focus. But I'll clean those lenses up, readjust out of focus again, that picture should be better. But you can't really see the um, crap on here though, so... It doesn't come up on here, so that's probably nothing to worry about. The only main thing you get to worry about is, yeah, the convergence and that picture playing up. But yeah, these TVs do have their limitations. But, that's it. That concludes the, yeah, hooking it up and fixing the dry joints and how it all works. And yeah, hope someone out there finds it interesting and thanks for watching.